Hi there, my name is Roger from rrfit.com. Uh, now, today I'm going to talk about uh, what I believe, once again, is the most important um, factor, and that's what I call the X factor behind fat loss, um, and that comes down to uh, your, your mindset, once again, your attitude towards being able to to take to do the journey um, in terms of getting as lean as what you would like to be. Um, now, in the previous video, I talked about body image and getting that correct, so starting to visualize yourself. Um, you know, and that's you being able to use your mind's eye to 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 feel what it is to eat lean and, and exercise regularly and live a healthy, active lifestyle before it's even happened. Um, and in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about language. All right, psychology, language. All right, now you know, mindset is rarely ever worked on or developed in an exercise program or an eating program. Um, although the ones that are successful at any sort of you know at any sort of goal generally don't re we don't really focus on their mindset because they're that driven and they understand their whys and why they're doing things. Because that's a really important thing to understand is why you want why you're needing to be leaner and get fitter and healthier. Um, but uh, it's very rarely talked about as a topic. So um, you know, first of all, understand that you know your uh, you know your effort to lose weight is generally anywhere between 80 to 90 percent of eating um, and 10 to 20 percent of exercise. And it really is comes down to 100 percent your attitude and mindset. Okay. And there are tools and techniques that can be used to get fast results, but it's not commonly taught. So that's where we're going to teach you today. One technique when it, and it comes down to your language. Right? It's only one of, of, of thousands because your mind is one of those magnificent things which can either create or destruct. Um, and generally we use it for destructive purposes or disempowering purposes over constructive purposes and empowering purposes because it, easy, it is easier to do it um, to use your mind negatively than what it is positively. Um, all right. So ultimately, you need to develop yourself. All right. Um, so start by the language you're using. And I know being positive sounds very hairy fairy, but it's the truth. So your tip is that when you're writing a goal or when you're talking to yourself, okay, don't use the law of attraction. And the law of attraction states that if you if you talk in a sense that ah oh, I'm wanting to lose you know 25 kilos, or oh, I'm wanting to lose weight, I'm wanting to lose um, you know, I'm wanting to, to lose the ability of having, you know, uh, a bad back or bad, you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to have heart disease, you know, in the future. You know, that, that is focusing on the, on the, on all the stuff that you don't want, okay? So I'd rather you focus on the things that you do want in terms of moving your body in a, in a, in a way of, um, wellness and not in a way of losing weight. But a way of wellness and healthy, active lifestyle and, and eating well all the time, all right? So when you're writing the goal, it should be more like writing what you do want to be or what you, you know, currently visualizing in your mind. So it is, I'm 75 kilos, um, and I'm on the beach and I'm loving the body that I'm in. Okay. So another example is, you know, it might be, you know, I, I've got a six pack and, you know, I'm loving being able to touch, being touched around that area um, by my girlfriend. Um, it's just a fantastic feeling, all right, rather than going, oh, geez, I wish I had a six pack. That's what I'm striving for. I'm not trying. You know, it's, we know you're doing that, but as language states, your language will, will dictate generally what your physical body will do, all right? So when you're focusing on, when you're, you know, 100% focusing on your leaner body, so you're saying to yourself every day, or you've got written down a bit of paper, I'm 75 kilos, I'm at the beach, I'm having a great time, whatever it is, um, you're focusing on what you want and not what you don't want, right? Um, you know, so being positive is not enough because, unfortunately, you know, if you fail to treat the weeds, so all the things that you don't want, um, they'll eventually take over your garden of positivity, all right? So start with your language, all right? Start with language. Always make statements of things that you do want in your life, not things that you don't want. All right. Um, now we know you're losing weight, but we, what you really want is you want to be lean, and you want to be 75 kilos, or you want to be 50 kilos, or whatever your goal is. Okay, um, and that's what you need to state continually. All right. So I hope that helps. Um, a little tip with your language. Now learn and apply these small tools that we talked about with body image, and now with language. Um, 
you know, and work a lot more on your mindset than what you do on your body because it's your mind that drives your body and then they work in, in harmony basically to, to get the result. <laughs>